Welcome back to Project Zonboard. It's Roland here, and today the pressure is on. Our cabbages are ready to harvest. They are fully seeded and just like almost bursting out the seams. I can't really do anything about it. It's a big problem and a real problem that I'm going to be facing if I don't hurry up and get myself a fridge. Yeah, not good. Well, first things first, I need a generator and then we need to track down a fridge as well. We, we've got a busy day ahead of us and I think I might start in the little estate just out... Ah, I could. That's very risky. So I'm tempted to go here. There's a lot of garages. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. That's the way to go. So I was kind of thinking about heading back to the little military pit, but I feel like that could be a little bit too sketchy. We drove through there yesterday and all of the Zeds were just migrating out of here. So, it's going to be dicey, especially with us driving through. They're probably around about here now. I reckon we just kind of hit this area. I believe it's it's pretty good anyway. I might try and swing up through here and just come through the back. That's probably the best way to go. Plus, that is, we do have cabbages for the day. And we're not quite overweight just to top it off. So, we should be at least off to a pretty good start. Whether it carries on through or not is a whole different question, but... We can cross that bridge when we get there. All right, let's... Should we just go all balls and see if we can find the path on the way? Uh, it's pretty risky. Ah, uh, that'll be why. Yeah, it's never a good idea speed walking through the woods. Just because time doesn't auto-stop. Not unless you're, uh... Not unless you're staring him in the face. And he also do doesn't dodge sets. You will just stroll straight into a mess and probably get yourself killed. It's happened far too many times. You'd think I'd learn from it by now, but I have not. I have not. But yeah, it's not too far out. I think that's it there. That's not going to be the one to take us up, but it's the one to get us out at least. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. Should have just started with this. Right, we're not too far out. I think this could actually be the one. Maybe. With a nice brand new car. No, nah, not quite. Here's a nice car though. And a van. Both look pretty brand new. Let's head around to the proper road, shall we? No way have we got two for two in like rapid succession. Uh, where are you? Come on. Nah, no time. Okay. Um, how are we going to get this? As well as get a generator, a fridge, and everything else. Okay. Um, starts with a little bit of diversion. That's how we get all of this done today. Without dying being the important bit. Okay, let's just take a step back. Pull them through a touch. Oh, their autumn colours are wonderful, don't they? Finally, fully starting to set in. I miss it so much. As much as I'm looking forward to summer, I do miss those orange trees. It's just something about them. Lovely. All right, all of you guys are now pretty much worthless to me. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother taking you out. If we find a generator, it could be a big problemo, but we can we can cross that bridge when we get there. For now, I reckon we just leave them all behind. Trouble is, the more Zeds I stop for, the more this crowd is going to stay with us. But at the same time, the more I leave behind, the bigger it's going to get. See, I'm just going to pick them all up along the way. Um, is there a little cutway through? There it is. Okay. One down there, too. Could be an idea just to yeah head straight through. Ah, brilliant. Looks semi clear. It is semi clear. Nice. Okay. What's the game plan here then? Don't think I bought anything to break into anything. Left all the axes at home. Come on. 
fingers crossed we find something. There we go. Generator straight off the bat. We don't even really need to search anymore. Take the wood glue. Might be worth repairing that. Ah, crossed. Might be worth repairing that drill. And then I need to figure out a way to get this home. Okay, where are we? That's the better question. We could try and beeline straight through. It's a very heavy thing to take. Let's just pick it up and see how we go for now, I reckon. 26, that's very heavy. Not really ideal. We can just drop it on the move though, which is nice. Makes life a little bit easier. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to have to do. So yeah, we're bound to get exhausted extremely quick with that in hand. Oh, I could do without that, if I'm honest. I could do without all of this, if I'm honest. <laughs> into a corner I cannot escape let's get a little bit of distance pick them up one at a time I need to work out if I can pick up a fridge and then also try and figure out how to get that home yeah yeah not good so you're actually there are oh, closer fridges aren't there yeah yeah, we should be good. I think I've got a little mini plan. No, please not a cut. Okay, we're good. Just be glad there wasn't a herd there. Gonna have to get through those guys as well. Alright, let's do this. A little bit of preparation will take us a mile here. I think... I could really do with two. That's the trouble. Let's do a little round trip. Take them off as we go. So I'm going full like silent mode here. I know that I've got a job to do and if I just focus on that I'm gonna get myself killed but I can't take my brain off it. But I also need to make sure that I'm not rushing. I was, yeah. Same result, get myself killed. We don't want that. We want a nice, happy, living Diego. Ah, oh, damn it. Exhaustion setting in. Car could be vital out here, you know. Might try and rest. Head down to that red car. Start that puppy up and bring it round. At least that way we can swing by the, uh, the gas station, try and grab some fu fuel from there, and then try and work something out to get a permanent supply of fuel today. As long as we get one generator in, we can worry about generator number two later. That's, yeah, that's goal, goal number one right now. Oh, come on, man. Oh, there's so many. Screw this. I need to get out of there. I need to get to a garden, rest, and then figure it out from there. I believe this one's semi, semi clear. Oh, none of this is clear. Brilliant. Come on, Stompy. See ya. Let's just head straight down to the fair, this one. Stack them up a bit along the way. Sorry, fella. You're the only one not bothering me. Which means you must be the first to go. Okay, cool. Let's try and head around the front. I wonder if we can go through a building. 
At least that way we might have a little backup. Might actually get some more food out of this too. Ooh. Couple of tins, I'll leave those in there. Ah, oh, is there a fishing level two book? No. But we can dream, eh? But we can dream. All right, where are we? And where are we going? Kind of want to get to here. And we can literally just drive through. Ah, okay, sound. All right. There's the plan. Here's the plan. Come on. Break it up a touch. Oh, cheeky little... No. Thought it was going to go straight down to the ground. But, nope. Not today. There we go. Now we're talking. Beautiful. Lovely job. Alright, should just be... Straight down there. Could potentially be that easy. Do you know what? I don't even know if that car's got fuel or not. That's another scary part to our list. Don't even know if it's got fuel. Oh, I left two gas cans at the military site as well. It's so annoying. Hey, old fellas. And last but not least. Ah, oh, there's two. Can't hear a helicopter, can I? No, I don't think so. Um, this is the sort we want to get in, isn't it? Yeah. Smash front right window. Key. Please. No. There we go. Get this puppy running. Fingers crossed. There we go. Beautiful. Full can of gas as well, just to top it off. Nice. Right, now we just need to find a couple of gas cans at the least. Shift some fuel between and we should be golden. Get that puppy off the ground before these guys get it preferably. Lally job. Do you know what? I might have a couple. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I've got any down there. Probably a few in that though. Is that it? Is it literally round the corner? More or less. Two corners to go. Here we go. Generator number one. Generator number two. Ah, please be nice to me, game. Let's just get it in, get it dropped, and then we can figure it out. Oh, I was meant to go straight to the gas station. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, well. This gives us a bit of time to figure out gas cans. Oh, fellas. Got pretty lucky with how long it took him to get it, though. It's almost perfect. Almost. Lovely. Oh, I guess we just head straight back to where we were. Almost. I kind of want to cut through and find that pathway again though. Don't really like strolling through the woods anymore. It's scary. Come on, fellas. Nice. He's absolutely na nailing the Zeds at the minute. Loving every second of it. Ah, oh, we have got to deal with that group now though, don't we? Yeah, and more because we moved the car. Coming on. Ooh. He's on a two stab menace there.
lovely job. And a few left to go. See ya. Oh, there's always one more. Always one more. I think that house was right at the end of this, wasn't it? You guys still coming? Lovely. Alright, let's head on down. Hopefully. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not going to be a cruisy day. I can tell you that much. Definitely not. Would like to see the what the crack is with a uh, a fridge, though. Not too stressed about an oven just yet. So we've got the campfire. That can that can do just about everything we need it to. Which is something to keep the cabbages and some fish fillets cold. Is what we want. Come on. There we go. One big step for the man on the ground. Ah, oh, you're joking. Looks like a brand new one to take home though, which is nice. It's not unusually I'd just go straight to the gas station and grab a few gas cans, but I know for a fact there's not gonna be any there. There's none here either. Crowbar should help though. I believe they can get into things quite easily. And not only you can't pry anything open. That's one thing I wish they'd add into the base game. Pry and open a garage with a crowbar. There's a mod for it, but I don't have the mod. I'm definitely not going to add it now. A little bit too late. Far too convenient. Ah, uh, there's no windows in these, is there? We'll break this door and then have a sneak peek. There's a window right there. Well, Andy. Glad I didn't check that one. <laughs> Let's try and get as many down as we possibly can. Oh, the day that they can grab you through windows is going to be a sad, sad day for us all. Get me out of that corner. Come on. There we go. Let's just tuck straight in. Guessing they've already broken down that window. Uh, which one did we come through? Was it this one? Yeah. Of course, straight into a high fence. Classic. Can't rest though. It's always nice. Make our life at least a tiny bit easier. Come on, fella. Sneaking skills coming in clutch today. See ya. It's kind of hoping he'd be solo, but. Ah, maybe he is. It's going to say that broken window is not giving me, giving me a lot of hope, but. Oh, there we go. That's all we need. Going to take those two. And those. Nice. Alright, one is more than enough for now just to get us started really i want to get home get some sleep and then yeah start our generator empire and get a fridge fridge is super important come on my lady come my lady come come my lady <laughs> oh dude all right here goes nothing fingers crossed we get home in one piece okay i think i might just play the safe game and harvest all of these bad boys quick do not want to take the risk of letting them run dry for too long. Just scoop them all up. Beautiful. I'll leave them all in the crate for now. Hopefully none of them die. So I've still got two fresh batches left, which is more than ideal. But I think what I'm going to do is take... Okay, there's some Zeds. Ah, it's just a solo. See ya. Yeah, I'm just going to take whatever fuel we can from our newly found car. Maybe even from the little car next to it. So we haven't got that running yet. So if we can get a load of fuel from a non-runner, that would be more than ideal. 
Ah, oh, we'll take this one first. Honestly, the bane of my life, choosing between groups sometimes. Just never know. But yeah, I reckon take some fuel from whichever car we can get fuel from. Go grab a fridge, get all of those cabbages chilled and just happy. And then, yeah, go from there. Hopefully that's got fuel. So I try and figure out generator number two and backup fuel station as and when. Right now, not really a priority. Plus, we do already have one at home. So, worst comes to worst, we'll just head back north, which I can work with. I'm absolutely fine with that if it means a decent, fully sustained forward base. Come on, my lady. There we go. All right, can we do it? Can we do it? Not looking promising, is it? Nah. Decent battery, though. Decent car all round. Just no gas. Just no gas. All right, it's going to have to come from you, then. Fill the empty gas can. As long as we can get 80% of it in. That'll do me, I reckon. So it should give us plenty of time to be able to head out, get more fuel, and... Should probably hook it up. For it. We should probably move it first, actually. Really doesn't need to be right in the doorway. Uh, connect to generator. Add 80% of the fuel. Leave the gas can on the ground. Beautiful. Now we just need a fridge. Pretty sure I'm up to speed with electrical to be able to get one. Not even sure if it needs to be this high. Guess we're about to find out. Do you reckon first house we come to? Fingers crossed, anyway. Tell you what, I still can't believe just how many swings it took to be able to break that garage door down with a crowbar. I think with a, an axe, it's like 10 max. That must have been at least double that. Ridiculous. Yeah, and then I'm gonna load it. Good lad. We get two for two. Beautiful. Three swings and they're down. Currently the number we're sat at. That would also be very nice to take home. Oh, could have sworn I've already gone into this house. Maybe we went through the garage. No. We've just never been in there at all. Fair enough. Lovely stuff. Okay, nothing we're after in here. We can get a washer and dryer now. Very handy. Means we might actually be able to get them cleaned up a bit. Might do that whilst we're down there, actually. No books we need. Disposable camera, I'll break you down. I mean, this is not what I should be doing right now. What I should be doing right now is getting ourselves this fridge. It's just too heavy. Take the old pickle. You are coming home with me, boy. Can hear a Zed. Can't see a Zed. Ah. Brilliant. <laughs> no, whoa, I did not know there'd be that many. I was just say, I knew there'd be more than one, not 50. Okay, um, I need to get outside. Any luck? A few of them are siphoning out. No, they're all just, all just smashing out that window. Love it. It's exactly what I was going for. Let's just pick up what we can around here. Try and pull a bit of a blinder. Get in behind them. Uh, kind of hoping for some faster deaths here. Come on, lads. Plan ball, please. I need a fridge. Yeah, we're going to have to take care of these, aren't we? Do not want to be carrying a 40 carry weight fridge for a death zone. Ah, brilliant. Um, I don't have anything to hand except for you. Not the worst thing to have, that's for sure. 
Ah, oh, is that a metal bar or a lead pipe? Of course, it's a lead pipe. It's always a lead pipe. Need to stop letting this game get that false sense of security over me. Happens way too often. Uh, electrical is still pretty good. Let's just have a quick sneak through and see what we're dealing with. Did they all leave? They did. Brilliant. A few of them got more distracted than others, but for the most part, oh, pretty, pretty good all round. Pretty good all round. All right, what can we do to shift this? I guess we just leave the bag down there. Yeah, it's the only way. Gets us literally 40.3 carry space spare. Classic. All right, let's get ourselves home. Hopefully we can make it without getting ambushed because I will absolutely die. We can't drop this. We have to place it. Ah. <laughs> let's go the handgun route. Hopefully I've actually reloaded it. Just gonna take the chance. Okay, fridge, where is it gonna go? I guess for now it can just go there. I wanna get rid of these lockers, I think. Ah, oh, there's one ax. One ax of many. Um, if we shift all of that into number two. Pick you up. Oh, of course. Hammer is in our bag. Of course it is. Whose idea was it to leave all of our gear? down in a, a ridiculously far base. I think I'm going to take one of these lamps. I don't know what light we've got in that back room, but I would like some light. Anything will do. But yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So I'm going to go home, get that generator on, and fingers crossed, it should be all right. So we should have plenty of light in that back room. I might get some fishing done. Things are looking up. We're finally getting somewhere. And with any luck, there's enough space between the world and our generator that they're not going to hear us and just flock to us in a heartbeat. Because that would suck. That really would suck. Kind of need to check the radio and see when we get some rain too. That'd be nice. Uh, fridge. There she be. There you go, 77 cabbages. I uh, probably should have done this the other way around. Get them all in the freezer. Pull maybe 10 out. Whatever that number is. Eight, nine. Okay, and I did want to pick this bad boy up and just shift it to a different location. I think I might build a little kitchen here. We can have a walk-in kitchen and then cut straight through to the bedroom, which we could always build a wall for now. Uh, let's just place that there. Perfect. One day I will come in and destroy that, but for now she's going to have to do. Ah, nice. Get the whole room lit up. Beautiful. Uh, you know what? I think I might actually call it a day just there. I reckon it's a pretty good time for it. I think between episodes I'm going to cut down some trees. Get ourselves prepped to just build a little, little area in here, I guess. Make it safe from the world. Potentially get a water collector sink plumbed in. I don't know. I'll see how I'll go on that. I don't know how it's going to work. But we're going to build a little fully functioning base in this. We're not going to stay here permanently, but we're going to fall back here enough that a base is going to make a difference. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to member supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.